Hey everyone, I've got Motor City. This is going to be a partial solo playthrough of how to play. Um, I've noticed that there seems to be a bit of um, uh, a challenge in learning how to play this game. And I do feel there um, could have been some ways that the rulebook could have been a little bit more um, clearer in the way to play. And hopefully I understood it um, the way it should have been. Um, understood so um, I'm going to play it the way I interpreted it and hopefully it's correct and if it's not and you strongly believe that um, you know the correct way to play definitely comment below with um, your thoughts um, so solo mode we'll start with this on the speedometer column we have um, on beginner mode I'm going to be using these dice and you roll the black uh, die as well and then we have this marker to mark off where the auditor will block off um, starting in the uh, on the second um, end of the first turn so let's roll and wow okay so both of these gray dice you'll place it on this row in the column that matches so it's going to be here we have two white dice going on this row and you place it on the matching column it goes here and then the black die will just go on the side for now and then we have this blue die going on the last row and it'll go in the car column since you know that's the column that is on the um, the die. So with that, um, we do verse a um, AI, and that AI name is let's see, I forget her name, <laughs> Emma, Auditor Emma. That's that's who we're versing. I'm just gonna refer to to uh, the person as AI. Um, on odd turns, I go first. On even turns, um, Emma goes first. So. Just so you know, um, I will be choosing a die. So basically we, we choose dice and alternating turns. We each choose two dice. And then after that, I get to use the final um, fifth dice um, action. So I'm going to choose this one because it's really important to increase your speedometer because you score on it on every round. So I'm going to just take the opportunity to take this one because based off of this die, Emma, the AI, will take starting at this column from top to bottom the die um, and if i don't take it then the ai will definitely take it on their turn so i have to take this one there's no bonus action here so that i don't have to do anything there but i do get to decide what i want to do next um, so there's a couple of things and i do want to point it out in the rule book just so that you know where to look um, but basically what we did um, in the beginning just now was a rolling phase and that's called the planning phase um, so we rolled the dice and then now we're doing the industry phase where we choose the dice that we want to use. Um, so be because there was no bonus, I don't do the bonus, but now I get to do B. I get to do the blueprint action, which is going to be the speedometer. I'll get to mark off one of these, or I get to upgrade, meaning I could spend some money to upgrade um, the associated action shown at the top of the column so I can upgrade the speedometer. I don't have money right now, so I'm going to skip that. And then the research, I could decide to do neither the blueprint action or the upgrade and just fill up my research um, uh, um, track here. Oh, and I should note that I pre-selected the engineer that I'm going to start with. So I pre-selected this engineer and I pre-selected this test track. So there's three test tracks. I chose the one all the way to the right. And, and that's what you need to do before you start the game. All right, so I do choose this die and I'm going to use the action um, above it and just mark this off. And then after that, you use the score sheet action. So right here, score sheet action. It says place your chosen die in an unoccupied action space on your score sheet. These are the four action spaces. So you'll place this die in one of these spaces as long as they're not already filled in with a die or one of the, um, the auditor uh, pieces here. So I'm going to do a testing action. I'll put it right here and then I get to mark off one off of the test track. So I start here because I marked off this test track. And you always go in a um, clockwise manner. So you go this way. All right, so now Emma, the AI will choose and it's nothing here. So it's gonna move to the column to the right and it'll wrap around if needed to choose the next die. So it's going to choose this one. 
um, is going to choose this blue and that means we have to refer to the solo part of the rules. And this could be a little bit confusing to some, but just so you know, if they're using a gray die, it refers to one space being crossed out, a white die is two spaces crossed out, a blue die is three spaces crossed out. This is a blue die, and this is going to be on the testing. So knowing that, this blue die will cross off three spaces on a testing track. And the testing track it will cross off is based off of the die that we have here set aside, which is a number four. So we look, testing, because that's the die we're choosing under that column. We have a black four, so it's going to um, have to do with this middle thing here that says cross off the last one, two, or three spaces on the middle testing track. The one, two, or three refers to the color. This is a blue die, you cross off three spaces, and so you'll go to the testing track section this is going to be affecting the middle one, which is this one. And knowing that we are going to be filling it out from here clockwise, you're going to be filling out the three spaces starting from the other end. So it'll be one, two, three. Okay, so they're always going to want to fill it out the opposite way than we fill it out. So you do have to just remember that. So now it's my turn to choose a die and I have some options. Do I want research and that icon is for engineering going up here and get some money or I could choose a gray die and get the money as a bonus and do any of those four actions. And I think I'll go ahead and just do, um, I don't know much about strategy at this point, just really figuring out the best way to play. So I'm going to say that I'll take one of these. And so uh, I'll gain one money and one money is gained by circling in the sales section, a circle. So you'll circle it and then eventually you can spend it by, by uh, covering, uh, coloring it in. So now I have $1, I guess if it's a dollar and now I get to choose to either do the action at the top of the column, which is I could choose any of those four actions, or I could decide to upgrade something if I had the money, but I don't because I need at least, it's noted here, um, I'll need at least $5 or $7 to upgrade in uh, one of these uh, actions. And if I want to upgrade it to the second level, it's $5. If I want to upgrade it to the third level, it's $7. And if I were to upgrade it to the second level, I would basically fill this in. And now from, from, you know, from that point on, when I use a testing action, whether it's from one of these or if I get a testing action by filling out one of the other um, boxes, I'll get to mark off two. And then same goes for when I upgrade to level three by paying seven dollars, I'll be able to mark three. So it really accelerates um, how quickly you fill up some of these tracks. And I guess that's really like the theme here is that you're trying to service your cars because that's in the service department so that they perform better, that you're, you're getting, getting things done faster. So um, that's a way to look at it. Okay, so I got my money and now I'm deciding if I want to take a research or just do one of those icons. And I think I will do, um, and just so you know, the speedometer is not one of those actions. You only choose from the test track, the sales, the, um, what is that, production, and uh, the engineering. So I think I'll go up to engineering. I'm going up this and I get three money. I'll get to circle one, two, three, then I have four bucks. And now I get to place this on the score sheet for the score sheet action. And I'm going to go to sales and just gain one more. And when I gain this fifth one, I also gain this light bulb, which is a research. So I get to mark off one of the research. All right. So now the AI will choose the die and it's going to choose this one. It's going from left to right, from top to bottom. All right, so it's going to choose this one. It's a, it's a white die. So the white for the AI means it's going to cross off two spaces. 
So it's going to be looking at the um, engineering. So we're looking at engineering. The black die is showing a four. It's going to cross off the last two spaces on one of the two middle engineering tracks. So on one of the two middle engineering tracks, I have to cross off the last two spaces. So that's these two middle ones. I get to choose one and I think I want to choose. Hmm. These two. I believe I do not cross off the um, production hub, which is this section. I'm just crossing off the tracks. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, though. I don't know if there's any. Um, yeah, there's no clarification about that. So I'll have to double check that. Um, hopefully I didn't miss it in the rule book. So it took this die. And now I get to do a action with an action with this die. And it's going to be one of the column actions that I can choose. And I'll go ahead and choose to do the um, sure, I'll go here and do a research. And so what I did was the test track, the testing. So I got a research and I'll mark it off here. Okay. And lastly, we do the um, audit phase. And that audit phase consists of rolling this die. All right, so it landed on sales. So we'll put that here in the sales column. So the AI will um, start from the sales column and move right and wrap around the next time it's looking for a die to take. And we'll be putting this on the sales um, sales space. So we can't actually place the die here to use the sales action later. So um, I also forgot to mention that fifth die, you don't get to place here. You just use the, the column action. All right, so now it's the, the um, scoring. I don't get any points, so it's zero. And now it's the AI's turn to draw dice. All right, so we got two white dice here. We have a black die there. We'll have this gray dice here. We have a gray die here. And then the blue one gets placed here. So we have the AI choosing this one. So it's going to choose the sales. And it's a gray die. So when that happens, the gray die will cross off one space. And in the sales section, we have a five as the black die value. It says cross off the last bonus on the bottom row of the sales track. The last bonus on the bottom row of the sales track. So the bottom row of the sales track is this. So cross off the last bonus um, on the bottom of the sales track. I guess it would be this one. So we won't gain that. Um, it does say note, once Auditor Emma has crossed off a bonus, you can no longer gain it, but you can still fill the space beneath it to gain a dollar, okay? So I won't gain the four um, star points, but hopefully um, I'll get it somewhere else. <laughs> All right, so I get to choose a die now, and I'm going to choose, hmm, I'll choose this white die, and that means the bonus is I get to cross off one on the production track and everyone starts here on the um, on this arrow black arrow so I'll cross this off and there was a money icon on it so I'll gain that money and then I will also do a testing track action so I'll cross this out actually I shouldn't use X's here so I'm gonna just color this in because these are my actions I'll use X's for the cross outs I don't get but I'll cross this out for the testing action gain two more dollars all right and now we get to do the score sheet action and I'll also go on testing and cross out one more and that is the D um, I'm not sure what that icon is specifically actually let's see 
Um, so cross out a D. And does it define what that icon is? Um, maybe it's a certification. But basically what I'm referring to is this icon that looks like, looks like this. I don't know if you can see with the B, but I, I chose the letter D. I crossed off the letter D. So it is a requirement that has to be crossed off in one of these hubs. So I get to cross this off. So that's, that's completed in this production hub. So that's really the gist of that. And now um, Emma will go and choose, and then we'll choose this die. It's gray. So that gray die means we choose, um, we get to cross off one space. And when it is on this wild section, um, I have to see what it does. It's gonna, I think it just chooses this one, whatever this die is on. So it's gonna be sales. We're looking at number five, cross off the last bonus on the bottom row of the sales track. So this actually doesn't uh, look at the color die. It's just gonna cross off the last bonus on the bottom row of the sales track. So it'll be this one. We no longer have access to that bonus. All right, and the second die that I choose will be this one. Uh, the bonus will be to go up a production. I'll cross this out. And then I'll decide to use the test track again. And then I get to place this die on, I'll go up the engine, no, not, not this one, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. I'll go up the engineering. So go here, go up engineering one. Okay, so I think I did everything there. Um, let's see. And then now we do the final action of the fifth die and I get to do any one of these and I'll go up the engineering again. Right. So now we just mark the score for the end of the round. Um, and it's still, still zero. Okay. All right. Um, and then we roll this die. Oof. What does this mean? Reroll. Um, let's see. All right, let's see. I uh, don't even see that icon anywhere. Okay, okay. If you roll a blank, the other are set aside, not use around. If you roll a reroll, roll the die again. Oh, I guess they just need me to reroll again. Okay. So it's going to be blocking off this one now which is engineering and we roll the dice for round three oops that one rolled out okay so we got ooh lots of speedometers this time so the whites the grays and then we have the um, what is this? The production will go here, and then we have the blue die going here on the sales. Then we have the one on the black die. All right, so it's my turn to go first, and I will choose to take definitely the speedometer, I think, so I could get some money. So take this, I'll gain the bonus immediately, which is two money. And then this bonus says I could go um, plus one on the engineering track. So I'll cross that off to signify that I did it. And I'll get to go up here and cross off the F. Um, and that means that requirement is done. So I'll cross off the F here. And I'll decide to do um, the test track action where the die was. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the speedometer. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna, it's supposed to go here. This is supposed to go here. So I'm not supposed to do, gotta backtrack with that, oops. Um, wasn't supposed to do any of that. <laughs> so I wouldn't have gained the money, first of all. So let's just cross out the two, and then now we're back to the beginning, I think. Um, all right, so the speedometer is what I chose here. So I'll be choosing 
the um, the gray dye, I think. Which one would be best, actually? Let's see. Forget. Yeah, it'd be best if I chose the white because the gray allows um, the AI to cross off less spaces. So I'll choose this white dye and it's just gonna be the speedometer action. So at least I'll get one point. And then I'll use it on the testing track and I'll go up the testing track, which is here and I get two money. And now I get to do the bonus action here that I, I got. Go up one for engineering. Now I got the F, all right. So um, now the AI will go. It's going to start from this column, but it's going to loop around and take this one. So it says for the speedometer, you cross off the last, um, it'll be the last one space of the speedometer. So that one will be crossed off and that's what it will take. And then I will get to choose my die and I'll choose the speedometer again. So I get two points. And then I get to place it, I'll place it on production this time. And I'll move down here for production. And then the AI will choose this one, the sales, and it's a blue die. So sales for a one says cross off the last bonus on the top row of the sales track. So the top row of the sales track is here so it's going to be the last bonus i'm not going to be able to get this one all right and lastly i get to do a production action so i'll go here and i'll kind of outline this but i don't get this bonus until i get a tps um bonus to mark off so which is one of these i can mark it off um, but i still need that before i get that um speedometer bonus here okay so that was that we roll this die it's a blank so that will go here and that means it doesn't cover up any of these this turn and then we'll roll the third round i got one plus two so three points okay all right, let's see. I got the three on the black and we'll just place these dice. So the gray goes up here. We get the white dice, goes here. And this goes here. And then the blue will go here. And I think I got the dice placement right this time. So um, AI will go first. It's going to take this one. It is a white die. So it's going to cross off two spaces on the production track and we roll the three for the black. So it says cross off the, bo the bonus in one of the three middle production hubs. So the three middle production hubs are here and it says to cross off the bonus in one of them. So I'll cross off this. Um, mm, uh, I'll say the speedometer. Okay. All right. So I'll cross that off because I do like the extra points here. Um, so I prefer to keep those. Okay. So chose that. I will choose. I think I like this one so I could cross off some stuff. So I'll choose production, the production die. And it's going to be crossing off two TPS. And I'll cross off this one so that I can mark it. And now I've got this bonus on the speedometer so I mark it off and then I have another TPS that I could cross off and I think I'll go for this one so I've completed that and I get four points at the end of the game so right now I get four points all right so I've used this and now I get to put it on one of these and I'll use it on production I'll keep going down production actually you know what maybe I'll upgrade production I'll upgrade production for five dollars so i'll cross off um five one two three four five and production will go up two and that's how i'll do that i'll upgrade um okay so when i upgrade do i actually place the die there and take up the space let me just double check here so action upgrade so i spent five dollars and then um 
once per turn when choosing a die from the blueprint table you can only upgrade the die the action that matches the die you choose from the blueprint table okay yeah i think that's what i'll do um could i have done that though because i already used the um, yeah, I think I, I think I did play that right. Okay, and then let's see. Um, the AI will choose this one. It's a gray one, and so that means it's gonna take away just one space, I believe. And it's in the wild section, which means it's just gonna be the speedometer. It's gonna cross off one on the speedometer. And then I'm going to take this spot, take that die, and I will take it, gain the money. And then I could decide to use an action or do an upgrade or research with that. And I think I will use an action and do production. Now move two, one, two, gain the money. And then I will use the score sheet action and put it on production to do production again. So that's one, two. Okay. And the last die here, we get to do something at the top of the column. And hmm. Let's do the test track. So I'll get one TPS and I'll cross off the TPS required here. There you have it. Now we count round four. One, two, three, plus three, six. Okay, let's roll this die for the audit. Rerolling a blank again. So it's gonna go here and no blocks again. All right, so we have a six on the black die. We have some gray dice. Two whites here. And a blue. All right, so um, I will start and I'll choose a speedometer. So I'll mark it here. And let's see, I get to do a score sheet action and I'll do production. So I get to mark two and I'll go one, two, and just circle that to make it so that I made it available. And I will choose this die, gray, marking one space on production and it's got a six on the black die. So it says, cross off the bonus on one of the three rightmost production hubs. So these are the three rightmost and I'll choose to cross off the six since that's the least one. And then I'm going to choose, so if I don't choose this, Emma will. Um, so I'm gonna choose this and do a engineering. So by the way, the bonus is money and then the engineering action, I'll go ahead and do this. And then I'll place it on testing. Now go here. And then I mark a research because there's a, a research icon on the testing box. Okay. Um, Oh wait, so Emma gets to choose. Emma gets to choose this one. I almost thought it was the end of the round. Um, so it's going to end up doing um, a uh, speedometer action and it just costs off, let's see, the die is uh, a white die, so it costs off two spaces. One, two. All right, so now that's gone. And then the last action here, I could do anything I wanted out of those four. Um, I think I'll proceed with the test track. So let's do that and I gain one more speedometer, which is perfect. And then now I will roll this audit die. Ooh, okay. So we have this on engineering. And then round five, let's count the score. Um, I, <laughs> I hope I'm doing that right. Um, I thought I was supposed to add the scores and uh, let's just double check that. So speedometer, let's see. Um, fill the next space on the speedometer. Oops. 
Um, I got some on the little book, which is okay. All right. So I have to mark it down. Let me just uh, pause here and get clarification. Okay. Um, so speedometer actually says at the end of each round, you will score points equal to the highest star value you have reached. So instead, last turn, I wouldn't have gotten um, three. I would have gotten two for round three. Round four, oops. I wouldn't have gotten six. I would have gotten three. And now this round is round five. I'll get four points because it's the highest star number. Okay, that's fine. All right. So now this actually goes on the engineering spot. I won't be able to use that during the four sheet. Three on the black die. We have white dice going on testing sales. We have gray dice going on production and testing. And then we have um, a blue die going on sales. So Emma's gonna go first. It's gonna actually go here and take this. And it's going to just cross off one space on a testing track. And with the number three on the black die, we have cross off the last um, one space on the middle testing track. So it's gonna be this one. Okay, so it takes that. And then I get to choose what I wanna do. Um, I think I'll go ahead and choose this testing die and I'll go up one on the production track and I'll go here. And then with that, instead of doing the column action, I'll actually instead do an upgrade and I'll pay five to do upgrade the testing. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five. And then on the uh, screen, um, the screen, oh my God, the score sheet action, I'll, I'll put it on testing and I'll move two, um, do two. So one, two. And then I crossed out this um, icon for like these kind of achievements. And now I get to mark one of these off and I'll go ahead and mark off this one. I think I can mark off in any order. Um, but basically at game end, go three, score three points per certification, which is pretty neat. Um, I think that's what it is. So those are called certifications. Score any points earned by unlocking certain certifications, some certification score based on other variables in your automotive plant. See page eight. And I think I was just there looking at it, so. Yeah, okay. All right. So the one I chose was score five points at the end of the game, which is certification B. Okay, so Emma's gonna go, she's going to choose this die. So the white die, I believe is two spaces and two spaces on sales. Um, and then with the black die of three, cross off the last bonus on the middle row of the sales track. It's this one, okay. And then I will get to choose, and I'll go ahead and choose the sales. So I get to go up one on the test track. I'll choose um, this one. And then I actually get to do a, an engineering action with that bonus. And so engineering, I'll go up here and I gain a research. Um, and then with that, I'll choose to do the sales and gain money. And then on the uh, score sheet action, I'll do another sales, gain another money, and that gets me this bonus of the speedometer, increasing it by one. But also, just so you know, the research, I did circle or mark a circled um, icon. So a circle icon that I mark off says free action or spend at shop. So actually, I will use it to spend at shop and get a speedometer. So kind of missed out on last turn, but that's okay. All right, 
So the last die is this, and I get to do a um, production action. In production, I get to move twice. So one, two. So money and a light bulb, which is research, by the way. Now it's the end of the round. Let's roll this all the die. Ooh, another engineering. Okay. All right. And then I mark off for round six, six points. So we have two more rounds. And I'll roll. Um, I have a three on the black die. I have two white dice, one on engineering, one on production. I have two gray dice. I'm sorry, these are white, so they go in the second row. The gray dice goes on sales, and then we have this uh, wild, I guess. And the blue dies on uh, production. And what we get to choose? No, I get to choose. I get to choose. Hopefully I did that right last turn. Saying that a lot. <laughs> so I get to choose because it's an odd round. And I'll choose... Hmm. I really want to try to get this. So where's the A? Where can I complete the A there? Oh, it has to be this track. So how do I get the tracks? So far, I've only had one engineering and one test track, and I'm on round seven. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. How how do I get more? Um. Oh, I could pay eight dollars to do that. I guess. I think that's what that means. Um, and then the shop here also lets me get. Oh, okay, so that's how I do it. Hmm. All right then, I'll go ahead and choose the money. So I'll choose the blue die, get two money for the bonus, and then I'll decide to go up the production track, and I will go up twice since it's upgraded. So it'll be. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna actually go here. One, two, and that'll get me a money. And then with this die, I'm going to decide to upgrade production for seven dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're on level three. And then I'll use the score sheet action and do production going across three. Um now do one, two. Three. And this icon that I just crossed off looks like, let's see, looks like this. This free upgrade. Upgrade indicated action to the next level for free. And then if it's a question mark, upgrade an action of your choice. And it is of my choice because it is a question mark. So I will actually go ahead and upgrade testing for free. Now I can do three marks when I do, do testing. Okay, Emma's going to choose this one, and it's a white die, so it's going to mark, mark off two, and on production, I'm sorry, that's engineering, on engineering it says, um, cross off the last two spaces on the middle two engineering tracks. So we have the middle two, which are these, so it says cross off the last two spaces. I'll choose this one. So those are the last two. And that's done. I'll get to choose a die and I'll probably just choose hmm, research. So I'll choose this gray die, do the bonus action of research and immediately I will actually gain a engine engineer and I'll go up this track. And then, um, so I have this second engineer and then I'll decide if I want to do some... No, I don't have money to spend, so I have to just do sales. I'll gain one dollar. And I don't get that bonus because it was crossed off. So now with this die, I could do the score sheet action. I'll do another sale, so get, I get more money. Okay. And now um, Emma will choose, and it will choose this one. And... With that, it's going to choose engineering with a gray die marking off one. Engineering with the three black die cross off the last one space on the middle two engineering. So it's just going to be, uh, I guess, this one. I'll choose two. Okay. 
All right, so that's taken, and now I get to do a final action with this last die, which is a production, and I get to move uh, mark three off of this. So I'll do one, two, three. So I also get a research out of that from the, marking this. And then that's the end of that turn. All this is going to sales. This is going to mark um, block off the sales on the score sheet and then get six points. Last round, guys. Almost there. Ooh, both of these grays go to sales, these white engineering. Then we have kind of the wild, but the a three on the black, and the blue die goes to speedometer. And I'm gonna go for that one. Um, oh no. Okay, good, good. So the Emma is actually gonna choose this, um, and it's gonna choose the gray die, marking off one on sales. And looking at the three to four range, since the black die is a three, cross off the last bonus on the middle row of the sales track. So it's gonna be this one. All right. Just gonna take that away. I will definitely choose a speedometer. I'm gonna mark it off here. And as an action, um, I'll go ahead and do testing. That's gonna be one, two, three. And I mark off another certificate. And I'll do this. The unspent money, every two is one point. Um, and then, let's see. Mm -hmm. Emma will choose one. Be choosing this one again, and it's gonna mark off basically the same thing. For sales, um, cross off the last bonus on the middle row of the sales track. So we have this one. Oh, I should have crossed this off before. I didn't even notice it blended in. So now these three are marked off. Can't get them. And then I choose my last die for the game. And hmm. I'm trying to maximize my turn here. I think I'll just have to do this so I could do whatever I want. Um, so I'll choose the white die, get a one of these TPS icons, which I don't think is really going to help me in any of these instances. But for the sake of it, I guess I'll mark off the TPS for Hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't decide. Uh, this one, I guess. And then I'll also choose to do... What would be the most effective? I could choose anything here. Um, I guess I choose money. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I could put this on anything. I'll do production. And production could be marking off three. And uh, I won't get anything if I do production, but I, the only other one I could do is engineering. That's not much either. Yeah, so production, I'll mark three. So that's one, two, three. Not too helpful, it didn't get me any bonuses. Um, and then the final die to use is a um, engineering. So I'll go ahead and just mark engineering one time. I don't have that upgraded. And I'll just mark it off here for the sake of it. And then that round ends with um, seven points. And then in terms of scoring the stars, let's see, I don't think I got stars for any of the test tracks. I, didn't, I almost made it, but I didn't get it. Oh gosh, I should have just done the test track. Um, Anyway, missed opportunity, so zero. And then now we have the sales track. I didn't get any money there either. But it says at the end of the game, unspent um, five gets me one. So one, two, three, four, five. I do have one point right now. And then I have the um, production, which I got four points here. So I'll write down four. And then we have engineering. And that will give me no victory points 
All right, but I do have these certifications, so I get an extra five in production. Um, so I'll do the plus five. And then here, for every $2 spent, I get one point. And let me just double check that. Um, for every $2 spent, it says, yeah, score one point for every $2 unspent. So one, two, three, four. So I get $2. So let's do plus two. And let's see what my total is. So this is going to be 5, 9, 15, 21, 28, 29, um, 33, 38, 40. Is that right? Okay, let me start from the bottom. So 7 plus 4, 11, 12. Um, 19, 25, 31, 35, 38, and 40. So my score is 40. So let's see what, what range that falls in. So in the solo mode, there's some ranges you could look at. So I got Vega, um, or Vega. <laughs> Has a cool name and not much else. Um, and I was on the lower end of that range. But um, at least I didn't get zero points. That would be something. But... Um, yeah, so that was my playthrough of Mortar City. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. And I hope you're able to follow along. Um, I plan on doing another playthrough of this for sure. Maybe another two of them because um, I actually find this game to be pretty fun. Obviously, I didn't end up doing too much with the production hubs. I really was only able to get two of them completed. Um, and I do want to try to um, do more of the combo type of actions and I, I feel like this game didn't really show much of that but anyway that was my game of motor city played solo against um author emma and i'll see you guys next time thanks